In this video, we will see how we can utilize phytosome to download or retrieve a particular genome. Entire genome, we can retrieve the annotation, the protein, the CDS sequences, and obviously the gen entire genome as well in scaffolds, in chromosome, or any other annotational information that is available for a particular genome. On phytosome, uh, this uh, scenario is known as bulk data. For example, if you open a particular uh, species on phytosome, you will see uh, an option that is bulk data and you can just click on it and it will take you to the results where you can download it. So uh, we have been studying uh, coffee arabica in our, uh, in our previous videos. So I am obviously going to utilize that particular species for the retrieval of uh, genome because of the fact so that we can stay on uniformity due, uh, throughout the series this is a particular uh, there are two methods to retrieve a genome or download a particular genome which is also as i said earlier is known as bulk data option either you can go to download and open phytosome which will uh, figuratively open the entire phytosome database where you can just click around to uh, find your own species of interest and, and then you can download it. Obviously, there are versions available uh, as you can see from uh, over here, Phytosom all versions. So that means <coughs> versions basically mean the, uh, what sort of new updated data is available. Uh, as long as the versions keep on incrementally increased, that means the uh, data is more up to date. So either we can utilize the v13 version or v12 version v13 version is basically the new version but the v12 version is the most re reliable version for now so you should rely on it uh, this video is uh, for april uh, 12th and uh, 2020 so by 2020 it is more uh, most re reliable to, to utilize the v12 version so i'm just going to go to the v12 if you click over it or if you just select it particular and uh, this particular region and uh, it will open up let's unselect it first okay so you can find all these species and from there you can find your own species of interest for example let's try glycine max and if you uh, click on the particular arrow and you can see that you can uh, get the uh, html file or the annotation uh, assembly version annotation and just or you can just select all of these and download them we'll select we will uh, teach you obviously how to do that we can also utilize the ftp uh, protocol to retrieve these particular files but uh, since uh, phytosome uh, provides you a better and a more easier solution to retrieve data uh, through the uh, through the gui that means the graphical interface this is a graphical interface so it is recommended that you just download it from the browser rather than going to the uh, uh, utilizing the FTP protocol on the Linux server. If you have obviously the other uh, softwares installed on your computer that can allow you to retrieve the FTP protocols, you can utilize them. So I'm on the Coffee Arabica page. I'm just going to click on bulk data. Uh, before you do that, you should be logged in. I have already logged into my account. This is my personal account, obviously. So uh, you should uh, log into your account. It is free to create. You don't have to pay for anything. And once you click on bulk data, you have to obviously agree to these terms and, we, and these terms are, are basically that you should uh, provide the total credit for this genome once you are doing the search and if you need to contact them you can contact them at this place other uh, registrations are also displayed and you can read them from this page particular page so if you click on the occupancy data you will uh, be uh, redirected to this particular page and uh, from over there uh,